you are welcome back to Python Basics Masterclass. Uh, at this time, I want to I want to take us through introduction to GUI programming. GUI means Graphical User Interface. So this is the interface where you deal with buttons, text box, labels, and so on. It's just like window interface, uh, like we can call Microsoft Word a GUI program, Microsoft Excel. And when we refer to programs like this, we might be talking about programs that may not require internet connection. Uh, most desktop and offline applications are GUI programs. So that is what you are being introduced to in this uh, training. And uh, we want to go by way of project. We are going to develop a project called Expenditure Tracker. I promise you it's going to be interesting. Uh, we, we will use the GUI approach to develop this uh, app called Expenditure Tracker. And uh, we are going to bring into play everything we have been learning in this class. Started from what is Python to the last class on data introduction to data science. So in this app, we are going to make use of all the concepts that we have been learning. But before then, let me show you what we are going to be building. This is the app. Uh, okay, here I call it a expenses tracker. It should have been expenditure tracker anyway. We can change that later. Now, we have the item, the quantity, and the cost per unit. So if there are 20 items, the cost of each of them, that is the cost per unit. Then we have two buttons. One says hard item. The other one says clear. Then when you expand this window, we have a kind of table that is going to list whatever we had here. And that is... Uh, another button that says analyze. When you click this button, it's going to give you the statistical analysis of your expenditure, either month by month or day by day. So that is what we are going to do. Now let me test this. Let's say I buy milk. Okay. I buy two cartons and one carton is uh, maybe 3,000. I add the item. So you see the item being added to the table here. Then let me clear that. You see it being cleared. They had another item, uh, probably uh, beverage. Let me call it that. Then maybe we have uh, six bottles at the rate of 1,500. You add item is added to the list. Then you have, let me clear this. I have another item that I want to add, maybe sugar, and uh, the sugar, maybe I bought four cartons at the rate of uh, 1,000 error per carton. I had the item. All right. You notice that uh, I'm be giving the total. So you are going to write a code that will calculate the total, that is the quantity multiplied by the cost per unit, giving you total. And at the end of the day, when you are done with adding the expenses, you are going to click on Analyze. And that analysis will give you a bar chart. A bar chart that displays the expenditure. Make, beverage, and sugar. Those are the three items I added. If you add 10 items, it's going to plot the graph for you. So on the, on the y-axis, I have cost of item. On the x-axis, I have items purchased. So this is a very simple app that we are going to develop as a way of applying all that we have been learning this in this class. So uh, you can save this figure. If I click save, it's going to take me to my system where I'm going to save it. So you can see that VS Code is also good for... Uh, data science because I use VS Code to develop this app and believe me 
you are going to code along with me as we look at how we can develop this kind of app and you can take it further by displaying the date the month and your analysis should be based on month or week or day it depends on what you want you can you can scale the application further and make it better than this but for now this is what we want to do and on our portal we have a course dedicated to desktop app development if you want to learn further you may want to subscribe to the course on the portal now in the next video i'm going to show you how to develop this step by step and uh, you will see the practicality of all the concept that we have been learning for example the prerequisite to this uh, to this particular section of this training there are some assumption that we believe that number one you must know python data types then not only that you must know function how do you write function then you must know the concept of uh, uh, classes objects and uh, methods then you must know module uh, under python data type mode especially list how to create list dictionaries strings and so on on topus you must know all this and um, uh, apart from function you must know data science libraries that you have been taught data science library like uh, pandas pandas uh, matplotlib so these are the things I expect you to have a firm grip of before we can you can conveniently code along with me uh, to develop this application it's not a difficult app you can even make it more beautiful than this and more visually appealing but uh, if you are lacking in any of this I will recommend that you go through them and after you are comfortable with them then you can come back and uh, try to practice uh, how to develop this application so i'm going to stop for now in the next video we are going to start the uh, development of this expenditure tracker thank you for listening